Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 63. Hey, if you want to follow along by downloading this workbook, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 63 to 66. Hey, this YouTuber asked, he said he had some vendors, ratings for vendors, and cost, and he simply wanted to select the highest rating and the lowest cost and he wanted the vendor a name to appear here now this is going to require that we do an array formula first let's click in cell make this a little bit bigger click in cell c11 and we're going to use the index fun function equals index and the index function we want to tell it this array right here and then comma, because we don't have a row number, we want to hit comma again and get to column number. And we need to devise some way to select column four, because there's a one, two, three, four columns in this range. And this is a smaller version of a much bigger table. You could have lots of vendors, lots of rating, lots of costs. And we want to somehow select number four, one, two, three, four. All right, here's how we're going to do it. We're going to use the match function. And then we're going to open parentheses and use the min function, open parentheses. Then we're going to use the if function, open parentheses. Then we're going to use max. Oh, look at I have a 9 there instead of an open parentheses. And we'll go backwards through this and try and figure this out. Now, the first thing we need to do is take the max of this, because that's a requirement. We need the max rating. So I'm going to highlight this close parentheses and here's the array part we need to say equals and select this array what that will do is it will create an array and actually watch this we're going to do this a few times in this formula to help us figure out a complicated formula I'm going to very carefully highlight max and that and watch what happens when I hit F9 notice it's giving me an array an array is held within curly brackets so true false false true OK, Control Z to get it back to where we were. Now, it says if, and then it's got uh, some trues and falses. So we're going to say comma, and then we're going to highlight this range. And then close parentheses. Now, just to see this part right here, I'm going to highlight that and hit F9 to evaluate. Oh, yeah, it's just 9, 8, 5, 7, right? But when the if, the first part has a bunch of trues and falses, true, false, false, true. That is a very clever way to select the maximum from here and then select only the numbers from this corresponding range. I'm going to Control-Z. So right now we have if. And if I highlight all this and hit F9, you can see that it's got 9, false, false, 7. I'm going to Control Z. And now if I highlight the whole min, obviously the min of 7 and 9 and 7 will be 7. So I'm going to highlight this whole min right here and hit F9. I'm going to highlight that whole min right there and see if I can hit F9. Uh oh. Highlight that whole min. Oh, why? Let's see. I only want to go to the right there there's a purple one so I'm so glad that there's those color coded parentheses F9 ah there's a 7 and what match will do is we're gonna say match hey look for this 7 in this range and it will tell us match returns the ordinal position which is 1 2 3 4 I'm gonna control Z now the match we need to say comma and then highlight this range so the match will find look for that 7 in this range comma 0 because we're looking for an exact match and now this whole match part right here will return a 4. And if I highlight this whole thing here and hit F9, you can see it's a 4. And the index will look here and select the fourth one. Control Z. You've got to put a close parenthesis for the index. And the way you enter an array formula is holding Control Shift and Enter. No way. There's a bigger, uglier formula here. I actually did this one, and then I posted this to MrExcel.com discussion board. And Yogi helped me figure out uh, this one, which is a little bit easier. Hey, now let's test it. Let's, uh, let's say this is ven 5 rating, so let's change this to less than the 7. Let's say 6. Ooh, they both changed to vendor 1, which is we wanted. What if we change this to 5 and this to 1? 
Oh, sure enough, then it goes to vendor three. I'm going to control Z, Z, Z. And there you go. That's a very clever way with an array formula and control shift enter to select the vendor with the highest rating and the lowest cost. All right, see you next YouTube trick.